Lego City Undercover was one of the big games for Wii U when it launched and it's kind of great that it got its chance to have its own spot on multiple platforms because Lego City Undercover is probably the best Lego game there there probably ever has been. Um, I recently played Lego World and I really enjoyed that and I was like this is a great mad this is a great change of pace for the formula that is the Lego games because they've gotten a bit boring and I completely sort of overlooked what Lego City Undercover was which was that everything that changes the formula and more like there are some levels in Lego City Undercover the story missions that sort of fall into that move from area to area destroy everything beat the enemies get on with the story and it's sort of there are moments where it falls into that and um, but there are huge periods of time where you're exploring this beautiful huge world there's so much to do like for lego fans you know you collect gold bricks there are 450 gold bricks to find in lego city on the cover that is huge and it will take dozens of hours and it's not boring it's not stuff that you're like oh i gotta do this and oh i gotta do that you explore you find gold bricks you unlock things you get gold bricks you build things you get gold bricks you're you're rewarded all the time for everything you do with gold bricks but that doesn't mean they come really thick and fast and um, there's plenty to do there's plenty to unlock and um, there's a few things that, that are a bit annoying in the sense of the, the, the legacy of lego games where you must um, go through the levels again with different characters that you unlock in order to get all the secrets and obtain all the unlocks and I could have done without that that's the one big thing I could have done without is in the story missions not have the requirement to replay the level again with different characters in like a free play mode but in terms of exploring the world and like in a, the easiest quickest laziest way to explain this game that's like a child version of gta and in a lot of ways it is it is that but at the same time it's surprisingly deep and um filled with stuff and fun stuff to do like there's so many little nods to other lego property like games and other games in general it is a great sense of humor i think it sort of um highlights more than any other lego game the great writing that the developers are capable of and um, it's a it's a fun undercover cop um story that isn't too heavy but it's still fun to enjoy it, it, it is, it's enjoyable but um the gameplay is stellar it's exactly what the lego game should and i would love to see another lego undercover game much sooner than another licensed lego property because i really do think not that they've run that course but they really need a break and they also need a change and the lego city undercover games to me is that perfect change and um, it shows that they don't need a license to make really great games and they're free with this with this lego city undercover their own ip they're free to explore crazy things like they don't have to do another undercover or cop game do an open world game do a space game do whatever they want to do but realize that they don't need a license to make a great lego game because lego city undercover beyond worlds beyond all the license stuff is the best lego game i've ever played and i couldn't put it down and that's not something i normally say about a lego game you usually have your fill and short bursts and that's great but this game i just wanted to play for hours and hours and see what's over this side of the city and what's over there and what happens if we go under here and what's over here and i don't know there's just so much to explore and enjoy in lego city undercover that yeah i want more of it